Hi there. Earlier video, I have shown you how to find the mean standard deviation and variance step by step. Now, this video, I'm going to show you how to use these calculators to find the sample statistics. So, I have a data set. It can represent a X value or a Y value. doesn't matter. It's, you can name it. So, let's start. So, before I start, I want to tell you that if you know how to do it, pause it and then you check your answer later on with me so anything i see in the screen is not good so what i'm going to do second zero number two is delete it from the background okay so i'm going to freeze data and i'm going to enter three enter five enter 16 enter 20 enter zero please don't forget about the zero zero is a real player in the number system zero and one because of zero and one we see this colorful technological world even i can tell you that the video you're watching right now is because of zero and one so that's powerful zero okay so please some of say oh zero should i count yes absolutely you must count it otherwise your answer is going to be wrong so make sure you hit enter then it's stored zero make sure it is stored zero if you don't have a zero and next time is 19 your answer is not going to be correct then press 19 enter and 18 enter and we clearly see the data so i'm going to go look at that color of this data you see this is statistics now we're going to tell my value is stored under l1 which is the x value i store it now i'm going to ask it give me back so give me back the statistics so statistics so what color is that look at that color matching so if you're second data enter 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 i clearly see this information see that guys so let us check if we have the same answers 11.57 we see guys next one is 16 but why 16 of course i'm going to show you what is 16 right and of course let me tell you what is okay all right let's pause it here side what i did here actually that's my mean 11.57 approximately again if you do have a sign and all other technological you know uh, homework platform in online platform based homework Pearson or a sign they have their own way of asking question make sure they ask for a specific round of rule so you have to follow the round of rule I round up to the hundred place even though your answer is right if you don't follow the round of rule you do the homework in online it's not going to be all right okay so I'm going to find the median so I go down a little bit here okay clearly you see median is 16 okay now status sample standard deviation that is s sub x sample standard deviation s sub x x sample standard deviation for the variable x is 8.54 8.54 check is match right 8.54 then next one since we don't have variance in the calculator we can just square because that is s so you just square it so 8.54 i can do it even the calculator let me show you here how we do that 8 point five four square enter look seventy eight point five four is seventy two point nine three look seventy two point nine three okay so that's lovely right very good now i can check out with another calculator do we have this kind of answer so i'm going to go with the next one ta34 here you go ta34 let's see this pops up okay here it goes quick now the screen is clear let me see data anything is stored oh yeah look at that numbers we must get rid of those numbers so we do second zero number two okay second zero number two okay and then what we do basically we basically type the data okay so how do you type in we type the data basically you do three enter five enter 16 enter 20 enter zero enter 19 enter 18 enter 
oops look at here guys i did it intentionally to show you that if you type the data like this it's not gonna work look what i'm doing here i'm gonna pull out the answer second data i'm gonna do enter 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 look what happened now tell me statistical error why because i did not tell or store my data in a specific store okay so i don't have my ifad in this one okay i'm gonna clear it here so you know okay so you see that is my store i i kept my ifad now i said you know give me my ifad back or my iphone back if i don't store it here whereas i put down in the street someone is going to take it i'm not going to get back okay so this one is in the street and this one is in the store so let's do it again three enter five enter 16 enter 20 enter 0 enter 19 enter 18 enter second data enter 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 so we have basically look at that our answer is matching we have a sample mean is 11.57 standard deviation is 5.8.54 and we do have something problem here maybe look we don't have a median so ta34 calculator won't give you median please pay attention on that you have to find the median manually organize the data smallest to largest and the middle if it is one yes if it is two you add and divide by two and you get your median now how do you get the variance same technique okay so i'm going to use another example here with remaining two calculator i'm going to show you here here you go guys okay i'm going to do this one here okay so let's take a look here we can do that i'm going to pull out with another calculator in the meantime guys you uh basically well, this is the one i'm going to do you do it and check the answer with us okay check the answer with us you want to pause yes you can pause it okay all right okay so i am going to type the number in 19 enter 55 enter negative 66 look at i am stopping here where i am entering i am not entering in my store i am entering in, a, in the clean area so many students don't realize and they said oh teacher oh professor i don't get the answer i asked my calculator but it doesn't give me question is why did you put your calculator okay or your ipad or your valuable or, or this number so you should put in a store here you go you have to store it so well it seems like something is already stored here right let me see is this same number no it's this previous data so we do second zero number two now it's clean now i'm going to go to data 19 enter 55 enter negative 66 enter 21 enter 67 enter 91 enter 0 please make sure you type 0 enter 192 enter so second data this one is a little bit different guys you want to pay attention here if you use this calculator right this calculator has different look number one is start variable no we are not looking for that we are looking for one variable statistics so this is one variable statistics okay so we're going to press number two either number two or we go down here number two enter we're going to tell the store give me the calculator or valuable back that's l1 we stole so enter 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 we have this information so here you go i'm going to type this in here in this calculate you know in the answer i hope you have the answer already right so it's going to be basically approximately 47.34 47.34 okay guys 47.34 next one i see clearly in front of my eyes sample 
standard deviation 75.46 75.46 okay then we look for median let's see this one gives us median there you go where is the median oh you're lucky yeah this one gives us median so which is equal to 38 which is equal to 38 and variance well as you know we are not gonna get variance from the calculator so we have to do 75.46 square and that should give us let's check it out uh, i'm going to clear these things up 75.46 square enter or you can use parentheses because this is not a negative you don't really need parentheses if it is negative number comes up of course in a standard, a standard deviation you will never going to get negative a standard deviation is if always positive because you're squaring the values okay which is 56 94.21 okay so that's approximately basically that's approximately now we're going to check out with another calculator which is the last one i promise i'm going to show it all different calculators okay so give us a little time the calculator is going to pop up and we're going to check the answer quickly so here you go we have some store data stored already let me see what is the data stored here Oh, this is the original one so we must clear it second zero number two is gone right so clear actually data so now we type in 19 enter 55 enter negative 66 enter 21 enter 67 enter 91 enter 0 enter 192 okay so basically uh, we do second data well start regression and another one so one in three so buy one get one free do you see that guys so we gotta press second and this one right now it gives you three option but you don't need to get everything you just get what you need so we are looking for one variable statistics so you press two your data is on this store enter 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 check the answer wow beautiful we have the same answers we have the same answers this is beautiful so i hope you understand again guys i want to apologize if my voice is louder because i've been teaching last 10 years and my classroom i want to be loud okay so so every student can hear from even back sometimes my classroom has like 40 students okay so uh, that's the reason so if you think my voice is louder just you know turn the volume a little bit down thank you so much for watching this video i hope you understand how to use this calculator thank you